Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakabadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone, who taught me his truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amuwan Gabar, and I'm back with another lesson, Lord willing, is quick, edifying, straight to the point, whilst in transit. Normally, I would just go live, you know, while in transit, but, um, you know, this route that I take to get to work, you know, it's pretty disruptive when it comes to signal, you know, a Wi-Fi signal or 5G signal or whatever signal. Passing through, you know, mountain terrains and forests or whatever. So anyway, um, pretty much Tyler's video somewhere along the lines about, you know, shit going down, shit hitting the fan, the infightings that's taking place amongst Esau Edom. You know, like uh, me and one of the bros was chatting chat yesterday briefly pretty much you know there's a lot of infighting going on and I truly believe that we truly believe that we know that even though yeah a lot of a lot of this shit is psyops it's orchestrated it's staged they gonna put this man to do this they're gonna put this woman to do that and they're gonna make him say this and he gonna do that and blah 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 a lot of that is true and accurate wow you do have division amongst these Edomites. 100% you have division among them. They're not all in cahoots with each other and they're not, they're not all in one accord with each other. They're in one accord as being Satan. You know, being that uh, that Edomite demon devil. They got that right. But as far as the global agenda, how it's going to go down, who's going to take charge this that that this the little minor details or the major details there's division among them there's always been division amongst Esau you know in any empire rulership or kingdom you take a look at the I was watching a documentary which is true a statement that was said by one of the um the, one of the, the people that were delivering the documentary or one of the commentators or whatever he said during the time of the Roman Empire, it was people were afraid to be Caesars. They were afraid to be a Caesar because of how cutthroat it was. You know how out to get you all the Edomites were towards each other. So with all that being said, you know, they go they probably and I believe I speak as a man. I speak as a man. My humble opinion, you know, the Lord is gonna have his way however he does things. But I could see them popping this dude sometime down the road. You know what I'm talking about. You know, off of him sometime down the road. You know, here it is, they done put out the revelation of the method, predictive programming, kind of showing you what they wanted to do, the narrative that they wanted to do with this guy. So it wouldn't surprise me if it happened. Now, let's just say it like that. You know, and it will work in favor for their agenda. It'll bring chaos. And they just got to set up a new puppet. That's it. And, and carry out the same agenda. That's it. So, you know, a precept that come to mind, of course, will be uh, in the book of uh, St. Mark, chapter 3 and verse 23. It says... And he called them unto him and said unto them in, a, in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? 
And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If there's division among a kingdom, that kingdom is going to, is going to crumble from within. Any kingdom. All right, this kingdom is no different. You got division and the you got this place is totally divided, man. Totally divided. You know, and then you know you got the Democrat. I'm just using one example of division: the Democrats against the Republicans. You know, brought a lot of division. The the um the unjade, the unjews drinkers versus the Jews drinkers that brought a lot of division. It's going to be the MOTB takers versus the non-MOTB takers. That's going to bring division. And I'm just talking about division amongst the common people, the citizens. When there's a food shortage, that's going to bring instant division. Scriptures say, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So division upon division upon division. And the rulers of this place are divided amongst each other. They're all divided amongst each other great division so if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand so what does that tell us about babylon the great it's going to collapse it's going to collapse okay now if, let's say this guy let's say he is trying to do his own thing you know the division amongst the tops and they got their hands in you know, in his back pocket or whatever, or, or pulling the strings on, on this guy. And let's say they are, they do have him doing his own thing. He really is doing his own thing. They gonna pop. Him. Here it is. He's talking about banning. Here it is. He's acknowledging same set. Um, I'm sorry. Two two genders. He said there's only two genders. That goes 100% against the narrative of. Babylon the Great. It goes against everything Babylon is established in wickedness. Uh, it goes against everything. He said men are not going to be able to compete in women's sports and things like that and the, the genders and the this and that and that and this. He's going to put an end to all of that. I mean, that's what he's talking about. I mean... <laughs> You know, and like I said, you know, PSYOP, stage, this, that, that, this. I'm talking about bringing it back, bringing back the old America. When you Negroes are still in slavery type of America. When the patriotic American had all types of rights to carry out, you know. You're talking about having um, people that carry firearms, license to carry, not to be limited in just one state. Make it a whole nationwide thing where you can carry so if you're able to carry in one state, you could be able to carry in any state. I mean, he's talking about bringing back the old Babylon. But that goes against everything that these people have been pushing. That's my point. Whether it's orchestrated or whether it's legit. Say, point is, Satan is divided against Satan. watching the video Elder Apostle I'm sorry Elder Bishop I done have put up you know he had did a video on his this guy Edomite looking dude that was going into the the pestilence that's getting ready to come once they start pulsating these these frequencies into people they start pulsating them and, and you know that's something we've been talking about always been talking about and we still believe that the Jewish crew going to be activated soon to bring in that new scandemic just like when Trump was getting ready to rule back in uh, 2016 uh, towards the end of his presidency they brought out the plagues so if he does make it up in there let's say and they bring in the plague again and this time in 2025 it's the it's the M the M V. Alright? The Mossberg V. And then they describing it how it's gonna go down, people are gonna just be you know, just the way the disease happened to you and you just start bleeding out of everywhere, your gut start melting or whatever, however that disease worked. But hey, 2025. 
It's gonna be an ill ass year. 2025 is going to be ill. You ain't see shit yet. So 20 uh, verse 25 it says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So this house is gonna fall. This house is gonna go down. And it says, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but have an end. So we are at the end of this man's kingdom. All praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwadash. We got the end of this kingdom. Alright, the infightings are real. And whatever infightings is going on, they're gonna try to make it look like it's not really happening. They gonna still try to control the narrative. Like if you have infightings amongst your bosses and supervisors, they gotta they gotta kind of like save face to not make the look the workers see what's going on and lose respect and, and, and just you know, kind of say fuck this shit. If they divided, then fuck this shit. And then the whole shit goes circling the drain. So they gotta kind of keep com keep composure and shit. If you get what I mean. You know? So. Real quick. Get ready to just wrap it up. Like I said, this is a quick transit. Type in infighting in, in Google. You get a definition AI overview. It says. Infighting is a noun that means prolonged and bitter competition, arguments, or rivalry between members of a group or organization. So that defines Babylon the Great in a nutshell. Satan being divided against himself, this kingdom being divided against himself, and as a king, so are the people. These these people are divided. Divorce is taking place because the story is about this, man. Story of uh, divorces and, and breakups being initiated because men, certain men voted for Trump and with wives wanted to vote for Kamala, blah, blah, blah. And people are taking it personal. You ain't see shit yet. Great division is about to take place here in America. All right, the great old America. <laughs> great division. You know, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Shit is about to hit the fan. Most high, dude's only begotten son, Yahweh Shah is about to turn shit up. And it's about to get ugly. Alright? Chaos in the streets. Martial law. He's watching Richie, uh, Richie from the B. Alright? He's going into reports of FEMA, setting up shop in Michigan, Michigan airport. Well, you know, he was trying to get people out there that, that lives in Michigan to pretty much fact check that for him and blah 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 you know setting the stage man setting the stage this shit is about to get real alright and your FEMA and them other agencies they ain't, they ain't your friend when the scriptures say the burning wrath of a multitude is kindled over you you gonna see these same agencies that, 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 that appear to be here the blue hats and all that appear to be here to to Bring peace and all that, or coil pull down the, the chaos. They're gonna be the ones enforcing this thing, this new world order. All right, which one of the main things of the new world order is for the elites to get people micro microchipped. All right, straight up. And like we've been teaching here, GMS Great Millstone from the apostles on down, that that is the MOTB. So get this truth while you can. Before the evil days come, seek ye the Lord. And that's Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seeking why he may be found before the evil days come. It's gonna be a time when this internet is gonna be shut off. You know, you ain't gonna be able to, like scripture said, a man shall desire to see another person and shall not be able. Or, or, you, you be, you're gonna be desiring to hear people's voices. The prophets, the voice of the prophets. People are gonna be desired to hear the soothing words of what's going on and why it's happening, the comfort of truth. It's going to be taken away from Babylon. All right? But it's only going to remain with the Lord's elect. The comforting words of truth is what's going to keep us stable. Like Isaiah 33 and 6 says, The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You know, so... You know, beautiful times to be alive. Very beautiful times to be alive. Not just alive as far as 
here on this earth, but alive in Yahweh Shai. You know, I just drove past a vehicle that had a Grim Reaper. <laughs> I just passed on the right, it was on the left, right of me, I'm on the left of it. I didn't see what it said, but it was a Grim Reaper with a sickle over his shoulder. You know, as I said, it's a beautiful time to be alive in Yahweh Shai, because the Lord is coming back to reap. You know, the harvest is ripe. It's ready for the picking. It's ready for the, it's ready to be, you know, harvested. You know, so anyway, um, I'm gonna end it there. I'm not sure how much memory I have on this phone. I had to delete some things to make sure I was clear while recording. So, soon be at my destination, Abaratiza. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakadam, to the Lord's elect. Watch and pray always that you enter not into temptation for all of us. So with that, shalom. Till next time.